Welcome to week 10. In this video clip, we consider a concept of ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. What this means that is, is as we develop, particularly strongly seen in utero, we go through the various stages of evolution which created our species in the first place. Let me show you a clip that we considered earlier in the class that makes this point. Remember this slide? It comes from week two in the course. And here is our poor little brain at a very early stage when it fundamentally looks like a tube with a couple of bulges on the front end. Now, if we look at how it develops in a way that we also showed in week two, um, we can see that it begins to add tissue at the front and fold over on itself so that this front part here becomes the uh, most important part and that's what comes out in the development um, that we're going to talk mostly about in childhood and later on in adolescence. That is ontogeny recapitulating phylogeny. That is adding on to the front end of the brain, which is often called encephalization. Same thing. I believe encephalization underlies the stages of development. Um, I believe that it's no accident that we crawl around on all fours like a lizard before we stand up and walk on our two feet like a primate, and that the stages follow that way. And there are many things that happen in our thinking that follow that way. And those are really the considerations that we're going to take on in the next video. But for now, what I want you to see is that things really do build on each other. Not that there's not a very important behavioral component. You have to learn to add before you can learn to multiply. So that's a structure in the knowledge base itself. But deep in us, there's a structure that leads our development to unfold, even, we now think, into the teenage years where the frontal cortex begins to develop to its completion, possibly as late as the age that most college students are, at the end of their teens and into their early 20s. And this has implications for how we trade off things in our intellectual judgments that are fascinating.